Okay, so let's see if we can figure out how to solve this basic math word problem. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and read the problem. It is as follows. 45 people are on a bus. Two-thirds depart. Next, seven people get on the bus. And then after that, two people get off. After all this activity, how many people are still on the bus? All right, so that is the problem, and this is a multiple choice question, and uh, let's take a look at our answers. So A is 7, B is 14, C is 20, and D is 23. All right, so feel free to use a calculator, but if you could figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll share the correct answer in just one second, then of course I'll fully explain how to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so here is our problem. I'll read it one more time. So 45 people are on a bus. Then two-thirds of those people depart. Now after that, seven people get on the bus, and then after that, two people get off the bus. So how many people are still on the bus after all this activity? Well, let's take a look at the right answer. The correct answer is C, 20 people. All right, now if you got this right, you definitely get a happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and a certificate of excellence in your achievement in solving a basic math word problem that involves uh, fractions. And effectively, um, this is kind of a common sense problem if you break it down into little steps. And that's how you solve any uh, big problem is to break it down in its component parts. So if you're trying to take all this in and be like, all right, uh, what's the answer? That's not the correct approach. What you want to do is to kind of slice, uh, slice this problem up in little parts, right? That's how you solve a word problem. And if you're confused, well, let's get you unconfused right now. So here is our problem. Now, anytime you're dealing with a math word problem or any problem at that, you need to understand the problem. So that's why I encourage people to follow something I call the rule of three, and that is read the problem at least three times before you do anything and make sure you understand the question. Now, this particular problem, there's kind of a lot going on. So, you know, you should just read it one time, get a sense. All right, there's a bus, there's people getting on and off this thing. All right, so that's the first time. The second time, try to identify the question. Now, how can you know where the question's at? Well, just go to the question mark and kind of back up from there. So we want to know how many people are still on this bus and then read the problem again. Really kind of let your brain uh, kick in and think about what to do here. But in this type of problem, what we want to do is model the situation. Okay, now how can we model this? Well, there's different ways we can uh, kind of model this scenario. So this is where math can be uh, creative, but if you can see the problem, you can, if you can visualize it, then oftentimes it's very easy to see the solution. So we kind of have a timeline here, right? So we have 45 people that are on a bus. Then what's going to happen? Two thirds of those people are going to depart. And then another event happens. Seven people get on. And then after that, two people get off. So we need to kind of think of this in terms of a timeline. So let's go ahead and take a look at my model. Now, this is only one way to kind of see what's going on, but I think this is a, a logical approach. So here is our bus, and uh, we have 45 uh, people, right? So currently on the bus. Now, what's going to happen? Well, two-thirds of these people are going to get off. All right, so that's event one. Now, after that, seven people are going to get on the bus, and then after that, two people are going to get off the bus. So if you can kind of just take this as one little math problem at a time, you can get to the solution, assuming you know how to work with fractions. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this right now. And uh, as I indicated, this is kind of basic math. And I said you could use a calculator, but really you don't need one as long as you know how to deal with fractions. All right, so here is our bus. And the first part of the problem says, uh, two-thirds of the people get off the bus. Well, how many people is that? Okay, well, we need to figure out what is two-thirds of 45. All right, so that's my question to you. What is two-thirds of 45? Well, how do you find 
two thirds of anything? Well, you just multiply two thirds times 45. All right, so let's go ahead and do that right now. So two thirds times 45 or 45 over one, because we are dealing with fractions, is what? Well, we multiply fractions. We simply multiply the respective numerators and denominators. So two times 45 is 90. Three times one is three. 90 divided by three is 30. All right, so what does that mean? Well, it means that in our problem here, 30 people left the bus, which of course is two thirds of the people that were on the bus. All right, so two thirds of the people uh, on this uh, bus with 45 people on it left the bus, that's 30 people. So how many people are still on the bus after that event? Well, it would be 45 minus 30. And the last time I checked that is 15. All right, so right now on our bus, we have 15 people, right? So we got all these people off the bus. We're like, yay, uh, we can kind of get any seat that we want. We're all happy about that. So the bus is, you know, going down the road and it now has 15 people. All right, now what happens next? Well, what happens next is seven people get on the bus and then obviously two people get off. So hopefully this is going to be pretty easy uh, for uh, most of you out there. But uh, let's go to take the next step, which of course is have you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, I definitely need your support. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years. I have like 3,000 plus uh, math videos. So if you like my content, all these videos I made for your benefit, okay? So in other words, if you're in geometry, algebra two, algebra one, basic math, you know, uh, maybe calculus, trigonometry, I have a lot of content and I really try to spread out my videos uh, between, you know, you know, across the, uh, you know, the board from basic math to more advanced math. But uh, if you want my best math instruction, well, check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. But uh, again, as I indicated, I really try to kind of spread things around, but I really enjoy teaching basic math because a lot of people are you know, getting back into math after many years of being away from math. Right? I'm like, yeah, the last time I was doing math, uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man was like 1972. Well, I totally get that. So, you know, at this time, for a lot of people, 50 years ago, whatever the case is, you know, some of these people were, you know, I mean, this could be you. You were doing calculus and all that stuff, but guess what? Uh, you're not just going to go right back into uh, doing calculus problems and everything else like that. You need to kind of rebuild your skills again, right? So I have a specific course that might interest some of you that are kind of and maybe uh, re-engaging with math, and that's called Math Skills Rebuilder Course. And uh, you can find that uh, link in, a link to that in the description of this video. But I start off with basic arithmetic, all these basic skills, and then we you know kind of work our way up to algebra, geometry, some uh, other topics as well. All right, so let's go ahead and finish up this problem now. So here is our bus. Two-thirds of uh, the 45 people departed. We figured out that was 30. That, le uh, that leaves us, right, with 15 people on the bus. Then what happens? Well, seven people get on. Well, then we're going to add seven people to our 15. And then two people after that are going to get off. So we have 15 plus 7 minus 2. And when we do all this uh, number crunching, we end up with 20 people. All right. So again, you know, when it comes to um, math problems, oftentimes it's not the actual mathematics that confuse people. It's a strategy to figure out what to do. Okay. So there's a big difference between, you know, doing math problems like two plus seven and taking on a uh, math word problem. And that's why a lot of people don't like solving uh, word problems. But uh, really, you know, solving math word problems is an application of the math skills that you're learning. OK, so why do we learn math? Not to do a bunch of homework and, you know, take tests, whatnot. It's to solve problems. But uh, hopefully this little video was interesting and uh, hopefully you learned something. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.